Chemistry. Carbendazine is a systemic fungicide. It belongs to the group of methyl benzimidazole carbamates and is characterized by its broad spectrum activity against various fungal pathogens. Mode of action. Carbendazine disrupts fungal cell division and growth by inhibiting microtubule assembly. It interferes with spindle formation during mitosis, leading to the arrest of cell division and subsequent inhibition of fungal growth. This mode of action makes it effective against a wide range of fungal diseases. Formulation, carbendazine is commonly formulated as a wettable powder, emulsifiable concentrate, or suspension concentrate. Uses, carbendazine is a systemic fungicide that prevents and controls a wide range of soil-borne and fungal diseases. It is effective against diseases such as anthracnose, gummy stem blight in cucurbits, fruit rot, powdery mildew, and fusarium, wilt in chili and tomato. It is widely used on various crops, including cucurbits, papaya, melon, tomato, eggplant, leafy crops, pepper, mango, pineapple, citrus, and ornamentals. Dose. The recommended dose of carbonazim varies depending on the crop, target disease, and formulation used. Generally, for foliar applications, it is applied at concentrations ranging from 50 to 200 grams of active ingredient per hectare. For seed treatment, concentrations may vary from 2 to 10 grams of active ingredient per kilogram of seeds. Specific application instructions should be followed according to the manufacturer's recommendations and local agricultural guidelines. Thank you for watching our video on pesticide info. Remember, when using pesticides, it's crucial to follow the recommended dosage and guidelines provided by the manufacturer. Always read the label carefully and use the product as directed to ensure effective and safe pest control. Always wear protective gear. Stay safe and protect your crops responsibly. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below.